Welcome back to this Let's Play of the original official campaign for Neverwinter Nights 2. Last time we sort of found our new digs, Crossroad Keep, and uh, there's a lot of work to do, and we ordered some a new merchant shop, but we also need to deal with our new staff, and we need to talk about tithing. Uh, we have merchants on on site, and uh, it's a question of how much you uh, how much they have to pay to do business here. And you can be sneaky about uh, how you have them pay taxes, and um, that'll, uh, you know, that, that's the best way to go. You need a praise skill to, in order to be sneaky about how you have them pay taxes. Otherwise, it's best to just keep the taxes light at the beginning, just so you can get growth up. Then, um, In addition to that, we can talk about the farmer's taxes, and we won't put any taxes on the farmers yet. Now, she'll also give you reports on Crossroad Keep. As I mentioned before, we haven't done anything yet, so of course it's in god-awful shape. Um, the other thing to change at start is to essentially only recruit the best at first. And, well, we don't have anything at all yet, so... Those are those two uh, options that we have to set. There's also a couple of new conversations available. Uh, just talking to Bishop quickly. So what does the great captain of Crossroad Keep want with his humble tracker? Something you want hunted down, my lord, or some forsaken path scouted? Mockery? There's no mockery. I'm just addressing you by your new title as a lapdog for Nasher. Is that how you want to spend the rest of your days? With a squire by your side, a painted shield, and some pathetic code of honor to keep your back stiff as a board? And you can use a variety of things to uh, sort of tell him off, but uh, you can also sort of agree with him and just say, well, I'm just trying to exploit the whole thing, and uh, get some influence. Hmm. Maybe not. And a lordly sum's hard for any knight to ignore. Guess I've been let down enough to wonder sometimes. Good to see you aren't one of those. I am, but I'm just telling you otherwise, because I want the influence. Yeah? Something wrong? All right, go on and ask. And you actually can do this uh, conversation with Chandra any time after the, the fight with Lorne. Yeah, I was. I mean, if you died, I'd lose my teacher. Then where would I be? Well, it's no big deal. I wasn't looking out for you or anything. I was just... thinking about it a lot. And worrying. Anyway, just forget I said anything. And remind me not to say anything in front of Grobnar again. Yeah, no kidding. Speaking of Grobnar... Uh, one thing. I had a favor, really. I keep hearing about this tome of Ilkazar. And if I recall correctly, it has a few fascinating chapters on Gollumcraft. Well, if we were to get a hold of it, we might be able to use it to help upgrade the construct. I mean, he's walking around and healthy as Gollums go. But I only know so much about Gollums. There may be something I missed that could help him that would be in the tome. That's what I say. So glad you agreed. I was worried this was one of those times when I had a bad idea. That never happens. There's one other person I want to make sure to talk to here, Uncas. He's not particularly interesting uh, from a standpoint of what my choices have been so far in the game. If you worked for the Thieves instead of for the Watch, he does a lot more stuff. For me, he's just a shop. Uh, he happens to be an interesting shop because he's yes. a shop that will buy things for more than 10,000 yes. gold. Um, and so I can make a little bit of money off of him. But, uh, yeah. you know, in the short term, he's not that important. Uh, it, but otherwise, I will be selling things to him. There's not a whole lot else to see. There's Gyvin of the Road. He doesn't have anything particularly interesting to say just yet. I'll go through his entire conversation off screen just to make sure that you don't have to do so. But he doesn't say anything worth talking about. We can just talk to Wolf's minion and go back to the courtyard. One thing I forgot to mention, you have to talk to Kana again and tell her to tell the Great Cloaks to stay inside and train. I forgot about that. 
Anyway, talking to Vidal, the uh, construction on the blacksmith is complete, so we were going to build the merchant shop so that we can recruit a merchant. And then I'm going to head off to the world map and get out of here and uh, to the path outside. The first time you leave uh, from Crossroad Keep, you get an encounter with uh, this group. And apparently, uh, they have, there's a bounty on me, um, who knows why. You can actually talk your way out of this if you want. I don't want, uh, I would rather fight them. Because, well, I don't get any money for, you know, being nice to them. Look, enemies! You know nothing, Academy living cantrip casting sop! Summon up a dire bear there. Near you there, cast... I'm not sure what... Oh, Spellman. So I'm going to cast Lesser Spell Reach to uh, remove that Spellman. Except, uh, Did I actually succeed from casting it? Well, it went out of my inventory. I That was odd. Well, I didn't kill her off with spells anyways, because we were silenced. But we did hit her with a lesser spell breach, and that's just another one to check off the list. Anyway, they have some, you know, not exactly stellar stuff, but I need money right now, so that is what I am looking for. Our first stop here is actually not related to the keep at all, it's just something I forgot to do. Uh, just a piece of the construct that Grobnar needs in the caverns underneath the Duskwood. Um, this is where we found the glowstone earlier. Our next stop is Port Last with Kalindra, who is a, a miner, and uh, that also completes her quest, and you can talk to her, and uh, she will join your not really party, per se. You know, festival. Our next stop is Highcliff with Adario the Armorer. And, uh, he doesn't have a lot to say. He just says, sure. If you talked to him earlier, he complained about not having really anything useful to do, so we'll keep him busy, at least. No, Dagon does not join us at the keep. Surprisingly, uh, Bevel looks like here. it didn't take you long to make new friends. It's been um, he's pretty upset about the no attack. So, um, I'm sure it's not say. that what you're doing it. And, uh, he will join us eventually, but not yet. We're actually looking for Orlin the farmer. And, uh, we just need somebody to do the farming. It's not glorious, but somebody's got to do it. This is like a trip down memory lane, visiting all these places. Uh, by the way, if the merchants you've been talking to are out of money, some of these earlier game merchants actually s sell things for, well, actually buy things for better prices, uh, but they tend not to have as much money and they tend not to buy it. I mean, they'll, they'll only buy things for like 5000 instead of 10000 So, you know, just something if you're trying to maximize your income. It takes about, I think, 700,000 gold to upgrade the keep fully, and the, the keep itself does provide some of that, but you're going to have to provide a lot of that money. And Jacoby here can uh, be recruited. By the way, Adario and Jacoby are the, the armor and weaponsmith, respectively, and uh, in order to recruit them, you actually have to build the smithy first. Old Alwell actually has two recruits for the keep, um, assuming you actually have been completing all the other quests. If you rush through some of the earlier quests and miss things, you actually can run, uh, not be able to recruit some of these. Back actually, again? Is a sergeant. Hmm. Uh, it might be time for me to find something a little more challenging. These orcs were tough, but, well, I think I'm due for a change of scenery. Maybe there's a nobleman in Neverwinter who needs an extra blade by their side. 
Hmm. Well, judging from what you've done out here, I'll wager you definitely have interesting work for me. All right. I'm in. You just got yourself a sergeant. I'll be here for a while longer, but I will join you at Crossroad Keep soon enough. Does she, you know, swear at the recruits? I hope so. I mean, it'd be nice if they actually showed that, but no, it all happens off screen. Penton here, um... Has a dialogue option that involves a phrase. So I want to uh, boost my skills before I talk to him. Days in color report. Yeah, something you want? Not exactly a whole lot of money, but you know, hey, cash is cash. The final person to recruit is Deacon the Kobold, who you can set up with a shop. And he's concerned about dragons, but, uh, you know, we're not going to have any of those for a little while yet. He warns you that once he moves, his inventory will change. Um, and since he has a bunch of special items, like the armor I'm wearing was something that was bought from him, um, you have to make sure you buy anything you want from him before he moves. This Eldritch Knight Chain Shirt is probably the only truly sort of special item. Uh, the rest of the stuff, there's some other stuff that's okay, but this is the only item that I've ever bought from him. That isn't the last of what we need to do with the keep, but at least we've got the basics set up. Next time, we'll f complete what we can of the keep, and then maybe get on with the main quest. We may actually spend the entire episode on just keep-related stuff. See you next time!